One school here in San Diego has an entire team dedicated to robotics. Heather Lake, live at Francis Parker to meet, ooh, meet all the students. What's that? 2485, Orion. <laughs> what is that exactly? It's Orion. It is. Uh, this is the robot, you guys. The, so I don't know if this if you had robotics class in high school. I surely did not. Um, and here at Francis Parker, they have a whole robotics team. And you ask, how many students might be on that team? Well, there's 80 students on the team. So they're more popular than the football team, the cheerleaders, any jock on high school. And actually, some of the jocks are on the robotics team as well. You're one of, a cheerleader. We've got like the football captain out here. Where is he? Is the football captain somewhere? He's somewhere he slept in this morning. Yeah, uh, volleyball <laughs> captain. So everyone wants to be on their robotics team. Uh, Olia, Caroline, both of you girls uh, are part of the robotics team. Why is this so popular? Um, I think it's really so popular because it gives students that hands-on experience, um, you know, to work in STEM and really get that experience before they go off to college. And so when they go off to college and when they go into those STEM careers, they already have that experience. You guys have a crazy classroom. Um, there's all kinds of different things to help you learn and not only learn, but make these robots. I didn't never had any of this in high school. So what are we looking at here? So we're looking at over there where a bunch of students are crowded around is a CNC mill. And that's actually one of our newer machines on campus. We just upgraded it. So we're lucky because it can um, carve out pieces like actually, uh, you can't see it, but um, <laughs> some custom pieces that we can actually make in our shop instead of having them made somewhere else. Are you losing competitions or something? I mean, this has got to be, you've got to be top notch. You're probably going around winning stuff. Yeah, so this past year we actually won two awards. We won the um, Engineering Inspiration Award twice, when that kind of talks about your impact within your community. Um, we also won the um, a Robot Award at Championships, which is really cool, because that was our first award at Championships that we'd ever won before. I feel like Orion. As we get to Orion, because I want to see um, them practice with Orion. It's like BattleBots or something. You know, the people that like that show, they're probably really interested. In okay, we've got all the students out here to cheer on Orion. Now, what does Orion do as we try to see him make a few shots here? So Orion will intake a foam ball that's actually in the robot right now, and it'll fire up our shooter, and that green light there is a vision tracking system that tracks the goal. So you can see that it tech, that went in, um, <laughs> that it can track the goal, so we can accurately shoot that ball into the goal every time. So you guys had to use this at competition. So what was the, the kind of course like? Did they set up um, like a, a, you know, in basketball you would have like a course. Did they have kind of something like that for you? Yeah, so there was a variable obstacle course there, oh. so you had to drive across multiple different um, hindrances on the field, so that's why we uh, had our tank drive tread, so if you can see on the bottom of our robot, there's not an eight-wheel drivetrain like there normally would be on robots, oh, look at it's that a thing. tank tread, so you can drive over every obstacle, and it's a really efficient way. Yeah, to it's that. like a mini tank, can we keep trying to make some shots, I want to see that, that ball go through the hoop there, um, so basically you guys would have to run over stuff, pick up the ball, and then try to make some yeah. shots. Um, now, I know that you're all learning this, but it's really interesting how you're learning how to create robots because you're actually doing it online, right? Yeah, so Solid Professor has been really great, and they've been a great sponsor for us. Um, they've given us a lot of trainings with SolidWorks, SolidCAD, um, SolidCam, all sorts of different programs, and those programs allow us to create a visual... Um, virtual representation of that robot, which then allows us to create it and make it as accurate as possible. I feel like this is something that would be on Mars, like the Mars rover. Oh no, what happened to Orion? Is he down? Or she? They're calling the robot she. Oh, is there a difference she, between you know. a girl? It's a he robot. Oh, oh, let's keep trying until we make it. I want to see. A, I want to see a goal. It's a she robot. It's, she it's a he or a she. How do you decide? A he-bot. It's a he-bot. So the way that we decide the name of our robot each year is that after the second week, we kind of gather in a room and we kind of brainstorm different name ideas. So last year, our robot actually was a she, but Orion is a he. So Orion we named them boy. after Got various it. warlords or important um, mythical figures. Oh, yeah. Raul, like this. Their team is called the Warlords. We the are warlords. robots. Oh, lords. Oh, oh, oh. I love it. <laughs> By the way, there's your future, America. Everybody worried about everything going on? There's your future. You got it right there. Francis Parker's got his cover. <laughs> I feel good. The way I've never heard uh, uh, kids of this age Woo! more there well spoken. Oh, Have you ever heard kids more well spoken okay, than, oh, than these young people over here? We're in good hands, Heather. Like no, I was just going to give the mic away and go home. <laughs> give them the mic. Have them do fine. their own thing. Yeah, really. Take the day off. Yeah. Heather, thank you. Those Are, kids. I know. Wow, Very smart. impressive. Okay, exactly. one school here in San Diego has an entire team. And it's dedicated only to robotics. I, I wish I could go back to school and be a part of this group. Heather Lake, live at Francis Parker to meet the students instead of, you know, not paying attention. What are the qualifications attention? to join? What, this group? You have to, like, build Good your question. own and then... Heather. 
Hey, good morning to both of you. Sorry, it's really loud in here. The kids are having so much fun. And I just want to let you know, this is like not, you know, you got your football players and you got your cheerleaders and all the jocks. But on campus, these are the guys that are on top and girls. Uh, 80 people, 80 students that are part of this team. This is their robot, um, the most popular robot, because there are many robots that you build in this really cool shop class. But basically, the robotics team, you guys are like the big man on campus. And this is Orion that we're looking at. Now, girls, um, I want to know a little bit about this team because you said it's kind of comprised of a lot of different students. It started with 12 members, and then all of a sudden everyone got involved. Yeah, it's been really great over the past 10 years just to see how big this team has grown. And obviously we started off with just 12, as you said. Um, now we have over 80 students. Um, and something that this school really stresses is the importance of being involved in all sorts of things. So as you said, we have football players, we have cheerleaders, we have members of debate, we have all sorts of different students that are involved in all sorts of different things on campus, but they're also involved in robotics, and it brings us all together. Well, this isn't just, a, it's not a class. This is like, you guys go, come here after school, you come here on the weekends, you're involved in competitions, and, you know, it started with, like, a couple people just saying, hey, we're going to do this after school in, like, a little, uh, you know, a little classroom, and now you have this whole shop class, and I get, can't get the students to stop working this morning. I'm like, hang out, we're just doing live TV, and no, they're all working on projects. Yeah, it's really incredible. I have spent countless hours in the shop, and I've just loved every second of it. We're learning some amazing hands-on skills that I want to take with me when I want to major in engineering in college. So it's really amazing. Let's get Orion to work. I'm going to move out of the way. And this, basically, this is what this robot does. Before we go back to the studio, you guys, so this robot has to pick up the kind of basketball and then it has to make a basket. And they've been in local competitions and probably competitions all over the state. Uh, and basically, they've had to go through obstacle courses with their robots. And we're going to see if they can make their basket uh, this morning. But how cool is this? I mean, in high school, these are your future engineers that we're looking at here, getting hands-on training in the classroom day in, day out, and uh, hopefully get some jobs as soon as they graduate. So very cool. Oh, so close. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now. Very Let's impressive. try one more time. One more? One more? Sure, why not? Here we go. Ryan, 24, 85. That wasn't a very good play. Oh, 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 uh, oh. Whoa! Hey, that's even better. That counts. That is even better.